was the encouragement? What was the point that you were like, you know, F all this, you know, blonde hair, blue eyes, tall, skinny, you know, size 0.5 clothes and all these stilettos. F this pop star look, I'm going to live my truth and kind of be me. Kind of, I'm going to create my own definition of beauty. Where was that point for you? So it, it takes time. Right, well, right. Yeah. So you just have to kind of start like by doing, I've started by doing just little things, do you know what mm-hmm. I mean? Just by loving myself more okay. or just caring about myself more and just being like, you know what, it's like F this, F mm. that, like I can do whatever I want to do. Mm. Or even just by little things, let's say, I don't know, just by starting wearing shorts. I didn't mm, wear shorts mm, before. Mm, 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 like even when I was a teenager and stuff. like Because I, you, you were conscious about yeah, people looking at conscious, you. Yeah, because I was conscious. Yeah, even right. like even from my own family and stuff, I was conscious because I was, I was always told, oh, like, you know, I have cellulite, mm. like, I have fat legs, like, mm. I can't be wearing shorts. Mm-hmm. I mean, come on. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, just let's say by start wearing shorts, even if it's just, like, to the shop, even yeah. to the grocery shop. Yeah. I mean, that's but, something. <laughs> but, like, at what point, I mean, to you too, um, Joanna, like, what point was it that, because you're, you're Romanian, correct? Right, and I feel like, like we mentioned Eastern Europe, it's the same con- concept the of, same, it's yeah. the same thing, right? Yeah. Blonde hair, blue eyes, tall, skinny, right? That's what, that's what beautiful is. So at what point, did you pick up that courage and say, you know what, F this, you know, I, I want to embrace, you know, me being thick, me being juicy, me being voluptuous, you know, those words. With me, it started when I went to US. Okay. Uh, I studied in US for half year. Right. That was when I opened my eyes and I was like, oh, this is a totally different world. Right, right. Yeah, like, wow. Like, yeah, yeah I like, mm. finally, no one looks weird. Mm. It's just like, I can just walk on the street without mm. getting like weird looks. Right. Like, Oh, I'm normal here. Mm. And that's when I realized like being in the wrong environment can truly damage you. Right, right. And for me, so going to US, it just made me change my perception. It's just like, I don't know, putting a fish to climb a tree, Mm. say it's stupid Mm, mm, because he mm. can do it. Mm. So it was the same for me. I just realized that Romania is not the right environment for me. Obviously, if you think of like what 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 should we do now like move all the <laughs> yeah <laughs> size 14 <laughs> 14 up to move to uk no but for me that was what uh, what opened my eyes right so being in us seeing that i'm normal that people actually appreciate me for who i am right. it's not all about which size you are it just made me open my eyes so you, then, you you left a i guess a close-minded society to to more open-minded one more accepting environment yeah, kind of then when I moved, uh, when I moved to UK, it was even better because I was starting a new life. Right. No one knew me. No one knew who I was before. So I was just able to build my own life. Right. Without all the, all I don't know. All the old, baggage. Yeah. Old fashion. Right. Uh, yeah. Way uh, people are back home. Yeah. So for me, it was just the chance to start. Uh, start fresh. New and to start fresh. Yeah. And I think. Being able to build such a large following, mm. it's like it's been under three years, so mm. it's two years and a bit, to be able to get to one million is just the example that if you leave your old baggage mm. and you can recreate yourself, you can literally do whatever you whatever want. Whatever you want. So Both. for me, being here in the UK it just helped me build uh, who I am today. Yeah, so the new you. Being, yeah. yeah, leaving behind whatever was before. Yeah, that's dope. It's the same for me, does yeah. it? Yeah. I feel like if I'd stayed and if I'd stayed and kept on obviously being, living in Poland, I'd be a different person right now. Yeah. I would not be me right now. I'd just, you know, I'd stay whoever I was before. Yeah. And just, You are yeah. just put in a box. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. Just... And I feel that's, that's why sometimes I feel sorry for most of the girls that are still back home because they have Mm. so so much potential but mm. by being put in a box your whole life you can only you can only go as far as that box allows you yeah, to go you, you start to believe oh but i'm not worth i'm like, not more that's yeah. what that's what i deserve right yeah. right right most of the girls like they are treated bad mm. so they would get bad comments or stuff but they would never reply back mm. and the reason is because deep down they believe okay that's what i deserve that's my worth fat. People, 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 they allow other people to define who they are for them yeah. because they haven't been in an environment that's loving and they're, they're actually more accepting. They've never seen something different, yeah. so yeah. for them, it's just normal to be called fat. For yeah. them, it's normal to be 
I don't know, pushed away all the yeah. time. For them, it's normal to have like the skinny people at the front. Sure. And then, yeah, and then they're at the back at the very end. Sure, to yeah. be second best. I mean, that's interesting. I think that's one thing which I am trying to encourage as well, which I think is dope that you've both mentioned, is being able to leave your comfort zone, being able to leave where to try, to try. Yeah. right, hundred percent, to reach out, to try something different, and to explore to explore you know new places will also allow you to explore the new you you know different avenues and different aspects of you as a personality you know that's really dope and obviously as you've both expressed you're kind of living living images of that you know you left home so to speak and then you created a new home and that new home brought new family to you you know it's, it's a beautiful thing it's a beautiful thing to see so um that being said camilla with you know with you pushing you know the whole fashion aspect of you know of plus size modeling etc and you want with you pushing you know the plus size aspect of thing but also with the health and fitness aspect of things as well one of the root things again was the fact that you came to a new environment and you, you met new people and they opened your eyes to new things this is going to be a little bit of a superficial question right okay yeah but, get ready <laughs> yeah you, you you know but you know you, you you've come to europe you've come to the u.s and then you, you you're not looked at weird anymore people looking at you like you know attractiveness has changed right um was that one of the biggest encouragements for you to continue because was it was it a male thing was it a male orientated thing did you feel like more guys were giving you more attention on this side of the world as well in terms at least for me in terms of attention i never had problems right from <laughs> yes <laughs> yes bitch yes <laughs> Yes, I've always been all that, bitch. I don't need you. Never did, never will. Yes. Well, from, from, from a male perspective, I've yeah. never had problems. Dope, like, dope. I, I've always been okay with that side. Okay, I've interesting. Never had any issues. So, mm. obviously, when I, when I got here, mm. I got more attention, but that's right. not what... Um, that, wasn't, that wasn't your driver. No, that, that wasn't was your main my, driver. My main driver okay. for my page into creating what I've created. Yeah. And especially because my page started as a weight loss yeah. page, kind of more like a transformation. So yeah. I had so, so many females that were just um, motivated to see yeah. what I've done. And they were asking for advice and everything else. So that's how it started. Mm. And obviously, the more my page started to grow, uh, I got more male attention also on the... Um, especially when I started with uh, with the fashion side. But this was never my main thing. That wasn't point. your main thing. So, yeah. Camilla, like, this is the thing. Um, we're talking about male attention, right? And I'm in this world where, right now where I, I come from the fitness space, right? Mm -hmm. My initial page was a fitness page. And I noticed, you know, the core of Instagram is about visual superficiality right um, material content as opposed to you know the soft the soft skills and stuff like that now i've asked you know about male attention and it's it's obvious that you know sex sells now we're linking this with um, body positivity right where is the distinction between i'm being body positive and then i'm just sexualizing myself you get what i'm saying because i feel like you guys you do influence a lot of young people and my question has always been, at what point does a young person say, you know what, the answer to being happy is by exposing myself or the answer to being happy is by loving myself? You know, is it, how do you find a distinction, you know? I mean, the thing is, a lot of females do, let's say, expose themselves. Yeah. But that's their way right. of being body positive as well. Right. So it's not necessarily, so it depends, basically what influences what okay what on people okay yes because some females do put let's say um you know lingerie content and sure. stuff but that's totally not in a way to you know to sexualize or right it's not for men right right like, right right it's 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 for the body acceptance is you know for the fat acceptance mm. it's not totally in a you know sexual it's not perverse yeah, yeah it's just men take it that way okay I mean, okay in all the, creeps out there yeah. <laughs> they just take it that way so how do you i guess communicate that to a young person you know to, to, to let them know that look this isn't just about exposing yourself or being sexual this is actually about loving yourself for who you are there's a distinction that you know so it just depends how you portray it as well right like what what you talk about what you know mm. I mean, do you just post pictures of your ass out there, or mm. do you just actually... I don't, I don't. Yeah. <laughs> but no, I carry on, carry on here. So. <laughs> yeah, because it just depends, you know, like, some females do just do it, um, there's females that just do it, you know, just for the attention. Right, right, just, right. Just, you know, just post pictures mostly of, you know, just to get male attention. Right, right. But there is females who just, you know, it just depends 
I don't know, on your captions, what they talk about, mm. the person is about as well. Yeah, so... Um, and you can distinct that easily anyway on the social media. I, I can't. I you can't. Can, like, if you'd look at the profile more closely... Right. Like, you'd see the difference. So this is... I think this is why I'm trying to do these kind of interviews, because I am trying to humanize the image. You get what I'm saying? I am trying to humanize the content. I am trying to a a attach, you know, a personality or, or, you know, feelings to these images that we just see. Like males, I'm speaking from male perspective, we're mostly visual creatures. You get what I'm saying? Um, we're mostly superficial creatures. We see something, you, listen, you'd be surprised the amount of guys we don't read. We're not trying to read that. <laughs> we're not trying to read that caption. We're trying to be like, where the angle's at? Yeah, you know I'm saying we're trying to swipe. Yeah, you know, we're trying to zoom. No, no, exactly. We're trying to zoom. Wait, is that a nipple or is that a birthmark? <laughs> because I'm speaking from a male perspective. So what I'm trying to do with this whole thing is that look, I want your voices to be heard along with your content. You know what I'm saying? You want? I know you had a YouTube page, and I'm just saying like I'm encouraging more and more people to to speak through the you know their pages as well, so people can connect. Oh wait, no, this lady is more than just the looks. This lady is no, more than yes. A question for you. Ask like, me. For example, you go and you see I don't know ten pages. Right. How would you differentiate if someone does it? I don't know for fashion right. purposes, or how would you say if it's like just a thirst trap? Just sexual. In 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 your own view, in, how, yeah. do you, how I how I yeah, assess how that. Yeah. Um, so...